Hi, I'm Taylor, and this is a short high-level demo of the Control Plane platform. So I'll go ahead and share my screen and we can get started. I'm currently in my personal Control Plane account, which I can change the theme to dark mode if I wanted to. And we'll first create a GVC, a global virtual cloud, a Control Plane concept. And you can create as many GVCs as you need to. And each G GVC that you do create can contain as many locations from AWS, GCP, and Azure. So we'll create a GVC called the Prod Cloud to represent our production environment. Select our registered domain. I found one called prodenvironment.xyz, but you can configure as many of your own custom domains as you wish. And I created a subdomain called API. Next, I'll select my locations here. And so I can select one, two, or all six of the locations that my org admin has granted me access to. However, my org admin could have granted me access to over 100 locations. We'll click Create. And now we have successfully created our very first GVC called the Prod Cloud, comprised of these six locations here. We're ready to deploy our first workload to our new GVC. In addition to creating as many GVCs as you wish, you can also deploy an unlimited amount of workloads to any one of your GVCs. So we'll create a workload and we'll give it the name Tetris. You'll never guess what it does. Select our image from either a public or private repo. Control Plane does provide a private repo for free. I found an image in a public repo though called vSword Sash Tetris. And I happen to know that it serves traffic internally in the container in port 80. I wanna make this public and now Control Plane will expose this on port 443 TLS. Click create. And within a few seconds, we have just created a brand new workload called Tetris. And we deployed that to our new GVC, the Prod Cloud, which is comprised of six locations on three different clouds. In a moment, our workload health will switch from not ready to ready. And once ready, there it goes, we'll be able to navigate to the global endpoint that the control plan platform provides me, which as you should also see is TLS terminated here, but also unbreakable, which means if Route 53 goes down tonight, your customers are unaffected since every request is always routed to the nearest healthy cluster that delivers the lowest latency. So we'll go ahead and we'll click open. And now we're playing Tetris. Easy enough. If I wanted to look at my individual deployments, I can go down to this deployments tab here and I can see that our Tetris workload has successfully deployed in AWS Europe, East, West, Azure Central, Azure East, and GCP East. If I wanted to SSH into any one of these locations, I can go down to the Connect tab here. I can select any one of the locations that we specified when we created this GVC. I'm in New York City, but I'll leave it as AWS in Europe. Click Connect. And now we're inside of our container. I can say ls minus l. And here are my files. I can detach this. Do the same ls minus l. There are my files. And I can simultaneously have as many or any of these locations open at the same time. So if I wanted to also connect to Azure East, click connect, detach it again say ls minus l, and there are my files. Files seen in Azure East and Azure in Europe. So this is a very short high level glimpse of the simplicity that you get with the control plane platform. There is a lot to show. If you're interested in seeing a full demo, navigate to controlplane.com, go to our get started page, Fill out this information here, click send, and we'll get you set up with your own free account today.